Hi everybody, I'm Stephanie from Razzle Dazzle Rabbitry and Yarns LLC. Today's video is what scissors to use when you're trimming your Angora rabbit, why these scissors matter, why the tools such as something as simple as this, why does this matter? So these are the Westcott 5 inch straight titanium bonded craft scissors with micro tip. That's their official name. And it says five inches, but the actual blade, when you measure it from here to here, is only a little bit over two inches. The tip of these, both tips, are pointed, and they are quite sharp because I keep them sharp. So there's going to be four reasons why these are the tools that you want to use. I own two pairs of these and a sharpener, and that's it. I used to use a... Um, a very expensive pair of rabbit electric clippers and I do not anymore. So the first reason why these scissors matter is safety. So you want to be able to choose a tool that the blade is not too long because you want to be able to feel while you're cutting the rabbit's wool and clip without being able to take a chunk out of the rabbit, being able to not poke the rabbit, being able to not take a chunk out of yourself, being able to not take or poke yourself. So the safety of yourself and your rabbit is extremely important. Rabbits do sometimes move very fast, they do sometimes jump, and the scissors that you're using can hurt both yourself and the rabbit if you're not careful. The next is the ease of use, which kind of goes with safety. So the storage of these, the care of these, the replacement of these, these are easy to replace. If I were to somehow lose a pair of these, these are $6.16 right now on Amazon and I'll include the link below that you can purchase these. And they're incredibly simple to sharpen. You simply buy a scissor sharpener. You don't have to send the blades away. The storage is, is amazingly simple. It doesn't require an entire plastic massive case for these. The next number three goes kind of with um, safety. Of course, it's your time. So the time, again, using these, once you get proficient with using a pair of scissors, you can clip your rabbit quite fast. Um, breeds that are not extremely dense. So if you have, for example, a satin angora, the, the wool is not as dense as a German angora. It doesn't take as long to clip the rabbit. And when you select the tool that is best suited for the job you're doing on all facets, when you think of all facets, time is an amazingly important resource for an Angora owner, owner and a business owner. You don't want to spend three months trimming your rabbit. And the final one is going kind of encompassing all of these. Is it multifunctional? This isn't just a pair of scissors that you can use trimming your rabbit. You can use it cutting paper. You can use it with the rest of your yarn project projects. That means you don't need multiple tools such as a pair of clippers only for your rabbit and a pair of scissors only for paper and a pair of scissors only for yarn. If you have a, if you have a pair or two of these and scissors sharpeners, the little sharpener tool, that's it. That's what you need. This reduces your business expenses. This reduces the amount of time spent looking for this tool, looking for that tool, storing this tool, storing that tool. So those are the four reasons why this is the tool out of all the tools that I have used to trim Angora rabbits. This is the simple tool that has won for clipping their wool.